Wednesday today. Wednesday seems to be the day that I find the energy to start vlogging. It's been not a great week this week. For no reason in particular, I've just felt quite anxious this week and I haven't really felt anxious particularly throughout lockdown. I felt quite content really, not content, but I haven't really felt too worried or yeah, too anxious or anything. I've just sort of got on with it, but I don't know. I don't know what it is about this week. I just don't feel particularly great, or particularly hopeful. I, and I don't really know why. And I, I don't even know what I'm anxious about. It's just, well, I'm anxious about a few things, but it's also silly, not silly things, but like I'm anxious about labour. <laughs> I don't know where that came from because I haven't really thought about it and I don't need to really think about it for like another four months. But I watched someone on YouTube who I follow, who I'm subscribed to, uploaded their birth story yesterday and I watched it and it made me feel really worried. <laughs> I haven't really watched anyone's birth stories for that reason, so um, I don't think I'll do that again, but yeah. I don't, I'm not firing on all cylinders at the moment. I didn't even do the washing up last night or clean down the kitchen and that is a, a sure sign that I'm falling off because that's something I do every night. I hate waking up to a dirty kitchen. But saying that, I did wake up this morning and feel like vlogging. <laughs> and it's partially because you guys have been so lovely over the last few weeks of me doing vlogs during this time I've had so many comments and messages of from you saying how much you're enjoying them and and how they're kind of adding some light relief to the situation for you so I that keeps me going and that makes me want to vlog because it's so nice to get those comments from you guys so thank you very much for that it's really lovely of you to say For anyone wondering on the progress of my olive tree since repotting it last week, it I feel like it looks worse but there's actually some new life on it which gives me hope so oh my god there's new life down the whole trunk what does this mean? So you can see by large again it still looks rather brown and crispy but this is new that wasn't there yesterday but these have all got bigger over the last few days. Yeah. Still remain hopeful and watch this space. ironing these linens <laughs> some of you may remember that i washed them all a couple of weeks ago and rehung them and i didn't iron them and when you wash linen it does tend to kind of shrink a bit because it goes really tight so it needs to be ironed really to get that looseness unless you're going to wear it i do find that i don't have to iron my linen shirts all the time maybe just the collar um to get the shape back but once i start wearing them they drop really nicely and I kind I thought these would just drop the more they were hanging but they weren't and I finally got around to washing the ones in the living room yesterday or the day before and they look so much better when we hang them back up so I just thought I'll just have at it while the ironing board's out and iron all the rest of them so that took me about two hours to iron all of those curtains but it's filled me with so much joy because they are hanging beautifully yesterday was actually a good day I just didn't really vlog very much I ended up sitting out on the balcony for most of it just doing some work which was lovely but today is a bit flat I've, I woke up feeling like this <laughs> it's yeah <laughs> it's not a great one today but I'm just kind of letting it pass I need to go to the post office and that's about it on my to-do list but yeah today's just i don't know what it is i just feel rubbish anxious but not particularly anxious as in like my stomach or anything i don't feel there's no symptoms of ang of anxiety i just feel like very teary and just quite low so we'll see how it goes
What can I say about this week? This week has just been... I don't even know what to say about this week, to be honest. Both, like, mentally for myself and just in the wider world. And there's a plane going over, so... Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll continue this conversation inside. So this week, what can I say? I thought I would feel better today to vlog. I didn't feel like vlogging yesterday particularly and I thought I would wake up on Saturday and be full of the joys of spring as it has been a, a rather joyful spring. This has been the sunniest spring on record, which is lovely. That's something to be positive about. But alas, I do not feel that way. I can't really find any words but yesterday I kind of took the day off and to be honest I actually didn't feel too bad like mentally but I just didn't really feel like being on camera because the day before I actually went to hospital to go to the maternity unit and everything's, everything's fine. I mentioned about how when you're pregnant you are able to call, you have numbers that you can call if you go into labour, if something happens or if, you, if you're worried about something. You can call this number and generally anything that you're worried about, even if they don't think it's a problem, they'll invite you to go in and they can check you and make sure everything's okay. So I, it was Wednesday evening, I felt like the baby just hadn't really moved as much as it had been moving. And I registered it on Wednesday evening, but I just thought, well, let me just wait until the morning because I kind of know the patterns of the movement now. And generally morning and evening, it's very active. And then throughout the day, I'll feel it here and there, like when I eat. But yeah, generally like I'll wake up and there'll be a lot of movement and the little hun will be saying hiya morning and then in the evening as well we, when we go to bed anyway so yeah the movements have slowed down and it's so hard with the first pregnancy as well to to know when to worry if there's anything to worry about and you're always told like there's not don't feel silly whatever you're worrying about is absolutely fine you're not wasting time that's what they always say to you you're not wasting time this is what we're here for. So anyway, I woke up on Thursday morning, really felt like the movement had reduced and fetal movement is quite a big thing in pregnancy. They tell you to keep track of it as much as you can. The midwife told me about last appointment, if you if it changes um, or you stop feeling movement, call us straight away. And so to me, the movement had changed. It felt significantly less. There was still movement, but it felt less. Hainsley, doesn't really understand it in the same way. I've been told by the midwives and I do my research and I know that if there's any reduction or a change to call them. But he, I mean, when I was first pregnant, he, when I didn't feel great on a few days, he was like, surely you can't be feeling anything now. And I was like, hun, the first three months is the worst time apparently. <laughs> so, so when I said that, he was like, yeah, but it's still moving, it's fine. So he's, he's good because he doesn't worry, um, but also, he then is a bit like, is it really that big a deal? And and it wasn't that big a deal, but obviously you just do the best that you can. And also I'm at home, I'm not at work. I can go in and sit and wait in the hospital. It's really not an issue if it's gonna put my mind at rest. And I just knew as I went throughout the day, I just knew that if I left it and I didn't go in the, in the evening, the movement was reduced, I would really be freaking out. So. I just called them and said, I don't know if this is a thing. And they said, you know, if it, as it is to do with movement, do come in and check everything. So they did check everything. I actually got another scan, which was good <laughs> um, because um, I was think I was, I, it, it's quite nice to be able to see the baby again. Um, and what had happened was the baby's actually t had turned. And so it's back was against my stomach. And so it's arms and legs were kind of pointing inwards towards me. So any movement would be reduced because the movement is like more inside, back towards my spine. And so she said, I'm confident that as the, ba the baby will move around again and then you'll be able to feel it more. And that has happened. So we're all fine. But that just kind of, along with everything else, I just felt very anxious this week. <laughs> um, and yeah, so just my, the capacity for anything else 
just hasn't been there. My lovely friend, actually no, it was just before I went to the hospital because I went out to the post office and then came home and then decided to go to hospital then. When I got back from the post office, my lovely friend Eloise, she owns a florist called Garage Florals. I'll put all the links down below. Um, and she is delivering flowers around Surrey and South West London. And she got in contact with me and asked if I wanted to have some dropped off. And I was like, oh my God, that would be amazing. Um, Cause also it's Hainsey's birthday on Sunday. So she dropped off this beautiful bunch that I'm looking at now. And they are just gorgeous. And I said, that's ideal because there'll be a great table setting for Hainsey's birthday on Sunday. And she said, oh, amazing, the peony should be open by Sunday. So let me show you this bouquet, because this has really cheered me up. I've actually split it in two, so I've got some here um, in this jar. And there's a peony there, which is waiting to burst open. There's ranunculus, which are my favourite flower. And then a load of other ones that I don't actually know what they are. <laughs> but I love how it looks like a bouquet of wild flowers. I don't like flowers that are too flouncy or like flowery, if that makes sense. I just love how this kind of looks like a country garden. So I've got some in here and then I have just got a few just in this jar as well. I actually only have these two vases, I've realised. I definitely need to get more. Um, so there's a peony in there, a couple of ranunculars and some of the other flowers just on the table. And then I did take some of the, I think they're daisies, I don't know, <laughs> and put them in with my eucalyptus that we have in the bathroom and made like a little arrangement for in here in my Scandi Life vase that I love. So yeah, I have three vases, but I definitely need to get more vases. I have a distinct lack at my age. I feel like I should have more. I don't really know what, I feel like I did have more, but you know me, I probably threw them out when I moved once. Okay, so I have washed my face, brushed my teeth, got myself ready for the day, and I am feeling much better. I say got myself ready for the day, it's about 10 to three. I don't know if anyone else is having this, but my days just do not start until about 2 p.m. at the moment, which is quite good because it makes the day go much quicker. But I'm just finding, I don't know, like when life goes back to normal, I don't know how I'm gonna have the get up and go to do anything because my mornings are so lazy. But saying that, I was editing this vlog. I was doing things, but I just, I mark the start of the day as like getting up, having breakfast, right, go and get washed and get dressed. And the longer I leave it to do that, the lazier I feel about the day. So I haven't been completely unproductive, but I do just feel like the mornings are just, like I can, the thought of having to be like up and out the house by 10 a.m., I feel like, is that ever gonna happen again? <laughs> I guess I should indulge in that, what with a little baby on the way. Anyway, um, so I just wanted to talk about something that I did do this week, um, which was a positive because I'm focusing on the nice things that have happened this week. And I shot some stuff for a brand, a couple of things for a brand. Um, it's not an ad in the sense that they've paid me to do anything. They just put on their Instagram that they were looking for people to shoot some things for them because obviously with COVID and everything, they haven't been able to do a new season shoot properly as they'd want to. So they wanted followers of theirs to kind of apply I suppose and then they would send them a couple of things to shoot. It's technically a maternity brand but anyone can wear the clothes and it's called Beyond Nine and the reason it's called Beyond Nine is because it's designed to take you beyond nine months and ever since I found out I was pregnant I, I can't I don't know how I found this brand but ever since I got pregnant I have been coveting it and wanted to get something from it especially for summer because they do a few different styles but mainly linen jumpsuits and they're all just beautiful. But the only thing with linen is it creases really easily so I just wasn't sure if like with linen trousers and stuff when you sit down in them all day you get up and they crease. Linen shirts I'm fine with and tops but something about linen bottoms it's just the creasing so that had made me apprehensive to to get anything because I wasn't sure how the linen would be but anyway they sent me over a couple of jumpsuits and I shot them this week for Instagram well for them and for my Instagram and I'm so just over the moon about it because they're exactly how I thought they would be I love them so this I think is one of their kind of hero 
jumpsuits I suppose it's one of their best sellers it's called the Sahara jumpsuit and you can see the legs are very wide I have to do this so you can see that there are actually legs because otherwise it kind of looks a bit like a very oversized dress and it's got these are poppers the buttons here so you can undo them and breastfeed very easily and it has pockets which you know we love there's a seam just around here so just above the bump and yeah i think you can see with bump that's how it looks but because of the way it hangs it will be fine post bump as well and it hits me i mean i love the length on me that's exactly where i'd want it to hit but if you were taller it might be a little bit shorter but i really like that this looks pretty much full length and you can see my shoes and it's just the most comfortable thing i think i've ever put on my body i would never want to wear anything else and then the next one we have is this sleeveless jumpsuit, which uh, the name escapes me of what this one is called, but I will put it down below. I'm not sure if this is on site yet. I'm not wearing the best bra, so just ignore that. Um, and really, because I've mentioned I don't love my arms, I would probably wear this with a t-shirt underneath it. Um, this is a size small. No, they're both size small. And the size small in the Sahara, I think, fits me really well. But I do think I could have done with an extra small in this one. And originally, um, Naomi, who owns Beyond Nine, was going to send me an extra small. She asked me to measure across my shoulders and said that the small would be better in the Sahara one because, because it has arms, basically. So when you're moving and bending around, it's just a little bit easier. But I do think because this is sleeveless, I definitely could have had an extra small because I do feel like there's a lot of fabric here for me. And yeah, again, quite wide legs. Here we go and poppers all down here so you can just bust them open get the boob out i mean this for summer holidays and when it's really hot is perfect but equally as it gets colder or going into autumn i would then pair this with a roll neck jumper or just a white t-shirt it looks really cute i might just put a white t-shirt on now for you actually and show you how it looks here we go so there we have it with a white t-shirt obviously if you're breastfeeding that's going to be a bit annoying you probably wouldn't put a t-shirt with it but for the everyday gal you could easily so yeah that's that one as i say i'll link everything down below but it was such a nice thing to be able to do to shoot for them i just thought i'd show you what my actual outfit is for today even though it's 3 p.m it doesn't really matter i could stay in pajamas if i wanted to who cares but i'm wearing my sage green shirt from h&m which i love it's like a painter decorator type shirt I call it I've just got some H&M cycling shorts on underneath and I actually don't think cycling shorts are the best thing for me I don't think I look great in them but it's just so comfortable and it's to have something underneath here this is what we are lounging about the house in I need to make something to eat now so I think I'm gonna do that and then and yeah we'll go from there I do actually have one other thing just to mention about the flowers that Eloise brought round to me um, about her brand Garage Florals because I think it's quite important. She's, she's like a sustainable foam-free flower brand so all of her packaging can be recycled and she actually delivers the bunches of flowers in either a coffee, like a coffee pod tin or a jam jar so that you can then reuse them um, rather than delivering them in those kind of plastic water bag things that you usually get with flowers. So yeah, I thought that was an important thing to say. I think now, yeah, I'm gonna make some lunch and then I'm gonna sit down and work on my blog, which I will speak to you a bit more about once I've eaten some food, because I am starving. This is so exciting. Okay, so hang on, do I need to turn my music down? One second. I mentioned that it's Hainsley's birthday on Sunday, and this is something that has arrived for him that I ordered. It's actually a birthday cake, so I'm gonna look at it. Oh, well, now, oh my god. I found this cake delivery service and it was but they're based in the center of london and i'm about i guess in mile like if there's no traffic it's maybe like 40 minutes to an hour perhaps by car yeah probably an hour so i was a bit apprehensive about 
having this delivered with it having to go all the way through London to get to me. The cakes were just so nice and really reasonably priced so I thought I'll just give it a go. And then I got the um, thing today telling me when it was going to be delivered and it said it would be in my area between f like from four to eight. So I was a bit like, oh, it's going to be on a delivery van all day. Is that okay? And it doesn't feel particularly cold now it's here, but I would assume they must be able to transport it somehow. But anyway, this is the brand. It's called Cutter and Squidge. And it just came up on like a, my search really, because I think obviously I'd been looking for birthday cakes. And I feel like all the ones near me, there's no really decent kind of artisan bakeries near me. It's the same with florists. Like, I feel like my area specifically really lacks in that. There is like a town just over for me that's got a gorgeous florist. But I do feel like, considering how big my town is, I feel like we are lacking in a decent baker's and a decent florist. Anyway, so I ordered this one. I'm going to keep it in the box because I'm going to put it in the fridge, I think. So I can't really show you the side, but can you see, like, you can see some strawberries there because this is their strawberry eaten mess cake. And it was between this one and they also had an apple pie one or an apple crumble one. Hainsey's two favorite things are strawberries and apple pie slash apple crumble. So I was really quite torn, but I thought this has got like white chocolate on the top of it and meringue and everything. I just thought I'm gonna go for the strawberry eaten mess because I know that he loves strawberries, so we can't go wrong. And it just looks perfect. And this is the smallest size, so it says six to eight, it's a perfect size. And including delivery, this was 41 pounds. And I thought that was really good because cakes I was looking at. <gasps> wait, 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 don't come in, don't come in, don't come in. Hamesy just walked in as I was talking to you about his cake. So he's now in the shower. So I'm not gonna show the cake anymore, I've just put it in the fridge. And I've told him he can't go in the fridge. But yes, I am so impressed with how the cakes turned up. It looks beautiful. And I think I was saying I was impressed with the price because I was looking at getting cakes delivered is really expensive and you can easily spend like 50, 60 quid just on a cake and they're not that great. They're just kind of a normal sponge cake with icing. And then if you want to get more of like an artisan type cake, they can be even more expensive. So to find that one for 40 and, f and that includes delivery from London. So the actual cake itself, I think was 30 something, 35 maybe. And then with the delivery, it took it to 41. So I think that is really reasonable that it came to my door from central London and is as amazing as it is. So we've got that. We've also got for birthday breakfast, cause we're gonna do, I bought some smoked salmon and I found in Sainsbury's and actually one of you mentioned about this to me but sorry I'm just checking my phone because I'm just on chat with British Gas um one of you actually mentioned to me that M&S do a alcohol free Prosecco called No Secco and lo and behold I found it in Sainsbury's yesterday so I grabbed that so we can have that tomorrow morning and then I got some elderflower cordial because we like to put that in our Prosecco when we have it normally. So we've got that on the go and also one more thing that we have for him. Um, I'm going to be a bit quiet when I go in. I'm just going to show you them but I, I got some balloons as well. Yes, I ordered some balloons for him. They're helium balloons that stand up that I'm going to put in the corner of the room. So my plan is to get up tomorrow morning get the cake out on the table, the Prosecco, the breakfast, and put the balloons out, just so that I've kind of decorated a little bit for him to walk into. I got two, like a four and a zero, because that's the birthday that it is. And then funnily enough, to compliment those balloons, I also got an Avengers, <laughs> like, balloon cluster. I wanted the Spider-Man one, but they were sold out, so we've gone for Avengers, because Hainsley is a massive comic book fan. So, yeah, we have those balloons for him tomorrow. And then, yeah, I'll cook a nice dinner and we'll just have as nice a day as we can have in lockdown. Probably won't vlog any of it for obvious reasons. But yeah, I just wanted to make it special really because it's actually his last, well, the last birthday of either of us that it will just be us. Um, when it's my birthday in October, we'll potentially have a three week old. And when it's his birthday next year, we'll have an eight month old, which is just madness to think. So coupled with that and the fact that we're in lockdown and it's a big birthday, I just wanted to do something to mark the occasion. I was going to upload this vlog yesterday, which is Sunday, but, well, I was spending the day with Hainsley and I hadn't finished editing the vlog. 
and I just wanted to spend his birthday with him and have a really nice day. And also just in light of everything that's been going on specifically in America regarding George Floyd and, and the fallout of that, it just didn't really feel right to upload it yesterday but I've been really quiet today and just having a quiet day um, spending time off of social media, off of Instagram specifically because I'm just finding it I just feel bombarded when I'm on there and I know it's with good intention and I know it's such an important thing that needs to happen but I also think that it's important for you yourself to just taken as much as you can and step away when you need to from social media specifically so that's what I've been doing and I have found that people that did upload yesterday is has been a bit of respite from everything that's going on so I've decided to upload this vlog this evening I'm conscious as I said at the beginning of the video I'm so thankful for you guys and you're helping me with continuing to vlog because you all leave such lovely comments and are saying how much you're appreciating it within this time and so I recognise that I think it's important to still have some kind of escape, whatever that may be for you and for me it's watching YouTube and I know for you guys as well. So, so I've decided to upload this vlog this evening so I just wanted to come in here and just acknowledge that I am aware obviously of everything that's happening in the wider world and I'm trying to be active in my response to that however I'm not necessarily using my social media as a way to be active just because that's how I've chosen to deal with it so I really hope that all of you wherever you are are really safe and really well I will hopefully continue to vlog this week and yeah I just really hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you on the next one Mwah.